All right, people, I'm here to talk about algebra, specifically the introduction to algebra. In this video, I'll give an overview of the section, I'll then go through the worksheet, and then I will answer the questions that are on the worksheet. The description box below gives a link to my Instagram page. On this page, you can find images of the worksheet and the answers. Um, you can take screenshots of these, or you can even screenshot this video. So here it is, algebra. What even is algebra? According to Google, it's a study of mathematical symbols and how to manipulate them. I sort of like to think of algebra as the point in which numbers like really, really got into fancy dress. I'm talking four just woke up one day and is like, guys, guys, I'm just going to be X, all right? And it's just your task to figure out that X is actually four. Before getting into the proper algebra topics, it's really good to be solid on some terminology. That is, you've probably got some new words to learn, so let's get into this now. Okay, this is the worksheet for Algebra Section 1 Introduction. We've already gone over this first bit of writing up here and here. So let's skip straight to this brown box here. Let's go over some of these. First one, terms. Terms are things that are separated by plus and minus signs. So for instance, 3x, 11y, y root 3, 8a squared b. These are all terms. I could even have another one. 4. Next. Expressions are collections of terms. So, for example, 2a minus 3a, that's an expression. 13a squared minus 9. Here, expression again, you've just got two terms in this expression. Same with that one there. And finally, cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Bunch of expressions. Next word, equations. Equations are expressions brought together and defined as equal. I feel like the equal sign gives it away. So 4x squared minus 3 equal to 3. That's an equation. A equals a half. A, B, sine, C. Next, plus, subtract, multiply and divide, root are all operations. Operations are sort of, you can think of them as the things that make numbers or letters do things. So what have we got? We've got plus, we've got a minus. Simplify, expand and solve. We'll go through these in subsequent algebra topics. Final bit for this worksheet. There's just something you should really remember and it's to do with plus and minus signs and what combinations of them mean. Get this nailed now because it's going to help you out in the future because these are really annoying. So for instance, if we do an example, 3 plus minus 2. From this box here, we know that a plus and a minus makes a minus. So this actually equals 3 minus 2, which is 1. Another example, minus 7, minus, minus 5. Again, look back at your rules. A minus and a minus makes a plus. So this becomes minus 7 plus 5, which is minus 2. Right, what about an example with multiple terms? So minus 6, minus, minus 8, plus, minus 2. Let's do these two first. A minus and a minus makes a plus. So we've got plus 8. Next, a plus and a minus, well, that gives a minus. So that becomes minus 2. Minus 6 plus 8 is 2. And then minus 2. And that's 0. Now, let's look at some different operations. Here, we've just dealt with pluses and minuses. What if we had minus 2 times by minus 8? Same rules apply. You've got two minuses. 
you can look this up in this table, you know that a minus and a minus makes a plus. So you can think of this as becoming plus 2 times by plus 8. Or you can think of it as just 2 times by 8. Just get rid of those minus signs. And we know that's 16. Let's, let's look at another one. What if we had minus 12 divided by 6? Here we've got a minus... And we have got a plus here. Often in maths, we don't put the plus sign. We just assume everything is positive unless it's stated as a negative. So this is actually equal to minus 12 divided by plus 6. And we know a minus and a plus gives a minus. So we can think of this as this is going to be minus, And it is 12 divided by 6, which is minus 2. Final example. Minus 9 divided by minus 3 times by minus 2. Minus divided by minus, we know a minus and a minus makes a plus, so this can be just 9 divided by 3. And here, we know this is going to be a plus, and we've got a minus here, so we know the whole thing's going to be a minus, so we can still times minus 2. So we get 3 times by minus 2, which is equal to minus 6. Right, this is the time to check your knowledge. So I would suggest pausing this video, trying out these questions here, then coming back to this video and seeing how I worked these out compared to how you did.